and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor, and this is my Witch Doctor. And in the last episode, I had to redo a bunch of stuff, but we ended up in the Pandemonium Fortress and cleared level 1. So now Debbie and I are going to go and clear level 2. Uh, but I just want to point out that I changed my skills around a bit. As you can see, I have taken off the dogs for now, because I want to try this. I'm, I'm noticing that a lot of the Witch Doctor skills, they're just not as um, damaged. Like, they, they don't seem to deal as much direct damage, and if they do, I don't really use them as much as I should. So I'm going to put the corpse spiders back on, because uh, it's never really failed me. And if I have corpse spiders on, I don't really need the dogs, because they do the same thing in the end. And I'm going to put the uh, I put the fire bats back on, and I put them back to the, uh, the plague bat mode, except this time I'm putting on the vampire bats mo um, rune, which will inc which will double the the initial mana cost, but it won't have any channeling cost, so I'll be able to keep casting it forever. And then we have Debbie with the same uh, uh, rune on. So now we have the zombie charger, and I'm noticing zombie charger is actually a very versatile skill. Like every rune you put on it essentially changes the skill entirely. And uh, I lost it here. Where is it here? So yeah, you've got the the tower one that I used to use, and then this one just sends a normal. Um, suicidal zombies running. This one sends one winter bear that deals cold damage. This one sends an explosive zombie dog that blows up for 680 weapon damage, just fire within 12 yards. And then there's also this one which summons a stampede of zombie bears that deal 520 um, poison damage. So we're gonna try an explosive beast and then see how that does. If we don't like it we can switch to the zombie bears. And then we've still got our uh, ring of poison and our piranhas. And then over here, I think... Have you unlocked it yet? Let's see. Which one did I want? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's this one I'm, I'm aiming at. No, it's Midnight Feast, actually? Yeah. So I have to be 68 to unlock that. So Debbie's with us. Well, let's do this. Hiya! Oh, Seriesel, uh, Guardian of Malthail. Cool. Sounds cool. Have some zombies! Zombie dog! Zombie dogs! Yeah! Boom! Well, it's certainly effective. Okay, quest completed. Oh. Your power from beyond the veil of death. The power of the spirits now resides within you, as it never has. You now live in both worlds, the true one and its shadow. And it falls to you to save them both. Okay, so I guess... We can go and kill stuff now. I'm not really sure if that makes us stronger at all. Yeah, no, we still do the same damage to enemies. Stupid zombies! Get out of my way! Winged assassins! I'm so sick of these things! Okay, so let's go this way. Ooh, protection shrine. Yeah! Kill everything! Zombie dog! Zombie dog! Zombie dog! Yeah, zombie dogs! Piranhas! Not ready yet. some of this! Poison for everybody! And some spiders. Because, you know, spiders are cool. So. I always like this part, because there's a lot of stuff to break. 
you bought some bonuses. Have some poison, and I'll give you some piranhas. I had no extra cost. Why is it taking so long to kill this stuff? Actually, you know what we could probably do? Let's see here. If I do this, let's put fire bats here as my main skill, and then up here, we can put, um... The zombie dogs here, and we'll put the uh, we'll put them with poison mode. Yeah, so now I can cast fire bats because this only costs a little bit at first, and then I can channel it forever. So this is kind with with this rune on. It's kind of like a primary, like a signature skill anyway. So it'll work out pretty good. Why are they not... Did I not put the right rune on? Oh yeah, I put the wrong rune on. Dang it, now I gotta wait for them to be on... Uh, to be off cooldown. Stupid cooldowns. Who needs cooldowns? I heard a treasure goblin. Where is he? There he is. Get him! Have some of this! Zombie dogs! More mama. Not ready yet. Die! We got him trapped! He's dead! It was a lame loot. Now I'm going to keep accidentally trying to cast fire bats by pushing the R2 button because that's what I used to have it mapped to. And then every time I do that, it's going to it's now it's going to want to cast dogs. Ah! Well, I don't know what is wrong, but I am not gaining any experience and things are just taking way too long to kill. Should be blazing through this place. Okay, now we can change this. So let's... Okay, I think I see what the problem here is. Fire bat should stay this way. And then... I guess the X button here. This can be the dogs on this one. We have to put the rabbit dogs on. Oh, I went for the green rune because I figured it was green for poison. Okay, so yeah. That'll do it. Now we are Okay, so let's put some poison in here, and we'll put in some piranhas, and I'm gonna die because the guys are exploding, so that's just wonderful. Wow, what a difference that, all, that made all of a sudden. Yeah, now all of a sudden I seem to be doing way more damage. Maybe it's because I didn't have my dogs out, I don't know. I would have to check my passive skills, but it almost seemed like I do less damage if I don't have any dogs out. That actually might be a thing, let's see. I guess it's not a thing, but it really seems like it. Oh, and all of a sudden, I'm just doing less damage now. Maybe it's just that some of these enemies just have way more life than they should. Ah! I'm slowed! Ah! Come on, Vengeful Seraph! Die! 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 
still not getting any experience though. Let's do this. Ring of poison and some piranhas. So many of these paths just connect back to themselves. It's really hard to figure out where you're going. Or where you need to go, anyway. Stop jumping in from nowhere! It's not cool. It's just annoying. Okay. Oh yeah, I forget that I, I, I forget that I'm still gonna take the effects of those. I'm, I'm my wizard. I'm wearing the ice climber boots, and that means that you don't get frozen. So I can I can just stand there and nothing happens when those gates go. All right. So where is the treasure goblin? I heard him. He's around here somewhere. Where is he? Is he down this way? Or is he over this way? Here he is. Right in the corner here. He's already trapped himself in a corner for us. Yeah. All right, everybody, cl everybody, corner him. He's trapped. He's got nowhere to run. Awesome. We got another one. Hold still, vengeful seraph. Just keep standing in that poison, in that green circle, and you'll be fine. It'll make you feel really good inside. Okay. Okay. Now, we can keep killing these guys. I have a feeling that it's gonna be somewhere that I've walked right past. I have a tendency to spend a lot of time on these things. Oh yeah, I just summoned the dogs again. I keep forgetting. Because I really do want my dogs, but I have, to, I have to sacrifice up my primary skill just to have them, and Debbie, and all the other skills that I want. Okay, okay, okay. We can get him. It's just going to take a, lo a while, a little longer than I would have expected, or would have liked. But it's going to happen. Eventually we'll get there, and then we can fight Malthael. And then, yeah, that'll be good. Stupid winged assassins, go away! That's all we seem to be running into, winged assassins. I do not have enough room What's a Kaisan? Damn it, I keep doing it again. Need more mana. <sighs> okay. So then let's try this way. And we're being followed. Terrific. Okay. Alright, let's kill this guy off, very slowly, kill him. It's bothering me how much damage I'm not doing. Maybe it's when I switched my sword, I don't know. I mean, I should be doing more damage. My damage went up when I switched to, the, to this new dagger. Okay, so then up this way, there should be another path we can take. Does it lead anywhere? Is the question. Come on, die! Die! Oh, somebody to talk to over here. Get out of my 
we winged re reapers I don't have time for this got some poison damage these vengeful seraphs do have much more life than they, you think they would an ancient stronghold where the angels imprison their most dangerous foes. These seals keep them trapped. We would be wise not to touch them. Oh, so obviously I'm going to touch them. Okay, we have to figure out which one of these I can take. I can get off then. I guess maybe we'll take off Debbie for now. Because I gotta have my dogs. But I also can't keep accidentally pushing the wrong button. So then I guess I'll just put on Plague of Toads again. Alright, so let's do this. Chargers! Holy smokes, look at this! I'm just gonna kill them all! Die! Some piranhas! Piranhas! I mean, zombie dogs, whatever. Die! I don't have my dogs with me, do I? There they are. Now it'll be faster. Die! Foolish, but impressive. Oh, now I'm just barely starting to notice any that I'm making progress towards my next level. Okay, so now let's try going up this way. Vengeful Seraph, your time has come! Ah, these things slow me down even more. I don't know what it is, but this place just feels so tedious this time around. It's never taken me this long to get through this area. Uh, everything, every path I try, it just doesn't lead anywhere. And then after this, there's still a whole nother level, isn't there? Gotta go through the, the entirety of level three too. <sighs> won't that be amazing? Won't that be just in incredible? Oh, come on, leave us alone! God, why does everything take so long to kill? Oh, I can't take this. It's driving me insane. I'm changing the difficulty. This is absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason why it should be taking this long to kill stuff. Oh, that's better. God. Yeah, Zorin, Guardian of Malthael. You will soon die. See, I told you, soon. Now, yeah, I'm gonna end up getting less experience this way, but I don't really care because I just want to get out of this place. And if I have to, if it takes me, if it takes me so long just to kill something, I'm never gonna get anywhere. I have to take seven or eight more videos just to get out through level three. Oh yeah, that's much better. Still, even these executioners are taking a long, but at least now I'm making progress faster. As if this part wasn't big enough as it is, now they keep adding all these little teleporting sections. Ugh. Everybody out of my way! I wanna get out of here! Oh, well, 
I guess we don't have to go through level 3. Cool. So then, let's just finish this right here and right now. Malthale, we're coming for you. The Soul Stone is a born sanctuary. The blood of demons will soon be gone from all creation. You will be the last of your kind for a few moments. Death comes, Nephilim. Not ready yet. Some piranhas! I like how the piranhas are like grasped onto his hood. I just find something I just find something rather amusing about that. Okay, we have to figure out a way to make him hold still. I'm gonna send some fire dogs at him. And maybe some piranhas. Just for good measure. Oh god, Malthiel has so many cheap attacks. Like making that, uh, that, move, that see those mist things? So cheap. They can just kill you so fast. Piranhas! Oh, we're making good progress here. He should be dead pretty soon. Although, I do kind of like the, how, how Malthael is actually a harder boss than Diablo. It's pretty good. Because, I mean, in Diablo 2, Bale was much easier than Diablo. Am I supposed to be scared now? He still doesn't have he, he still has the same amount of life he did before. Holy balls, I almost died there. Piranhas! Ah! Hold still! I, I wanna shoot stuff at you! I never noticed before, but those clouds, they actually have little skulls in them. It's kind of creepy and ominous. Holy balls! I must wait longer. Okay, so, he's almost dead. So now we can change the difficulty up to Master, so we might get better rewards this way. I must wait oh longer. Oh my god! No, you're out of time. I must wait longer. Let's see what we ended up with. The short man's finger. <laughs> 11 to life, 44% critical hit damage. Gargantuan instead summons three smaller gargantuans, each more powerful than before. <laughs> cool. Alright, so let's see here. It's actually better than this guy. The Black Soul Stone. Malthael destroyed it and used the power within. Then Malthael's death will have released Diablo. He is free.
All right, well, that's about it for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future where we will continue to play Diablo 3. But until next time, peace out. And as always, Game On. See ya.